In your childhood, you might have thought how planes work, especially the paper ones. According to a calculation, there are 10 to the power of 15 types of planes in this world. The most basic one consists of a few folds. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to make a perfect paper plane which can cover major distances. If we search on the web about the best paper planes in the world, we are gonna get a lot of videos, but they all are good looking planes, not the planes which can cover major distances. Also, laws of physics apply on the paper plane, so we have to make our plane according to the laws of physics. So, the question arises, how to make a perfect plane? I think we should take the mistakes present in our cool looking planes and try to correct them in our perfect plane. So, the first mistake is the weight. Let's try to understand it with an example. If we drop a simple paper and a paper ball from the same height, the ball will reach first then the simple paper because the mass of the paper ball is in the center but in the case of the paper, it is divided and the air resistance plays its part and it comes down slowly than the paper ball. The weight of the paper is increased by each fold and it combines resulting in the increase of the weight which decreases the air resistance on the plane. Second mistake is the size of the wings. Allow me to explain it with an example. Stop it. Get some help. This is known as the hoop de hoop plane. The movement explains its name. On the top, there is a lot of weight, which is the mistake we mentioned earlier. But to counter that weight, we have wings, the size of giants. So initially, the weight causes the plane to bend down, but eventually the resistance makes the plane goes in hoops, which is applied on the wing. So the lesson we're gonna take from this plane is that the bigger the wings, the more resistance and longer flight time. What you just saw was recorded two months ago and in that two months I have done a little too much research on this topic and I'm not gonna record it again and again because I'm a little bit too lazy for that. So I have decided to sum it up all over here while trying to show you how to make it. It's that easy. So the first thing that we require is a glue, a scale, some paper. So the first and foremost step is to cut it like 12 inches in height and 18 inches in width. Remember, if it's not perfect, the plane is gonna malfunction and remember to have a perfect measurement of this. So our first step is to, we have to fold it in half. Remember, it should be perfect, otherwise, you can't make it. You have to restart from a new page because extra fold, every fold has meaning to it and every fold adds something to it which is going to make it help fly. So now we have it in half. So how good. So perfectly we are going to split it into pieces. Talking about these folds, the purpose of these folds is just to provide us the base. So our next fold is over here and this fold is going to provide more air cutting through. So this is the first fold that we're going to get over here and we're going to repeat it on this side. So now comes our glue. So we have uh, so we have to just open it and uh, apply it over here so that we have some good base to work with as usual. And when your plane is ready, just give it a little bit of turn over here and this is vital this is vital for the flight how this don't don't like a proper fold it's just a bit of curve so lastly apply the glue in the middle so theoretically our perfect plane is ready <music> it has big wings 
small folds a few folds and this should be perfect for a flight let's give it a test flight over here um it's real quick uh, <laughs> this means everything is a lie all of my research is failed and i wasted two months <laughs>